Welcome to Dollhouse Beautiful. My name is Inea White. I'm naturally drawn to classic with a hint of girly and feminine, but something that might be timeless. So I brought in something edgy, something black, and my favorite color of all time, which is hot pink. And then I softened everything with white. So you'll see this theme throughout my house, something edgy, something feminine, and something classic. So this is all my outdoor stuff. So a wreath for the front door, a little bird's nest, a welcome mat, some flower pots, little watering can. So I found these little brass doorknobs just to dress up the house a bit since I'm using hot pink on everything. The details make the house I've found. I'm weighing my options between open floor plan and this island facing the living room or back to the traditional while separating everything and how it relates to the front door. So that's what I'm trying to piece together right now. So once I figure out this puzzle, smooth sailing. This started my entire dollhouse design. I just love how it's so abstract and it can be anything you want it to be. And it really just pushes the envelope, which is kind of my style. And it's the theme throughout the dollhouse. Black walls, black graffiti wallpaper, black dollhouse, hot pink door. I feel like my personality is coming out because I'm just throwing all caution to the wind today. This is the color I chose for my ceiling, a pop of happy. And you see how it makes these two materials less serious, so I'm really excited to see how they come together. So from this angle, just staring at the dollhouse, I want everyone to be able to see and experience the hot pink if they're just looking at it. So we're gonna do hot pink on the ceilings and this little cutout, and then the side will do wallpaper. I stumbled on this hobby probably when I was 17, 18, and then this is the third house that I've designed. I've done two on my own from start to finish, starting with the kit, and then furnishing and accessorizing and wallpapering, and that might have something to do with how I ended up being an interior designer, if I'm being honest. Etsy has a store. They have anything from herringbone flooring to tiles, and a lot of it's on trend. Again, you're gonna see the pink start to show up. <laughs> Pretty hardcore in a second. That's my headboard. We have a little bit of the graphic, which we're gonna pull out of the wallpaper. A throw, because what's a bed without a throw? <laughs> and then we have personality pieces. Oversized mirror because every girl needs to check her outfit before she leaves the house. This might be my favorite piece that I bought. A little curling iron, a little toilet paper. So this is the hot pink sofa. And these little pillows will find their way on the sofa too. This is like my coffee budget for the month. And then we're doing not one, but two coffee tables for a modern look. And what's a room without poofs? And this is probably the most traditional piece that I purchased. And I thought it would look nice with the fireplace and the hot pink sofa. We're gonna dress our fireplace with a few vases. I couldn't find any like modern art, so I took watercolor pencils and just did scribbles on watercolor paper. And then I take water and just run it, make it look runny, bring out colors that are already in my house, like the pinks. So now I'm just gonna pop these in and glue them to the wall. And the only inhabitant of my house so far is this little guy. This is my kitchen island with waterfall countertops.
I'm finally done, seven hours later. I had so much fun, especially on the wallpaper, which was actually the most challenging part. Everything had to be precise. Thank God the pattern didn't have to be aligned. That would have added at least another few hours. I love the accent colors, the hot pink made me happy while I was working on it, and my favorite is the master bedroom. It's just fun. Thank you so much for watching my tiny dollhouse, and I can't wait for you guys to see my tiny clients move in.